How's it going, Geometry Kids? Today we're going to talk about 4.6 congruence in right triangles. Now, before, remember how we couldn't use angle side side because it spelled a bad word? This is going to be side side angle, but it only, only works in right triangles. Okay? So, a right triangle, something to keep in mind. The side opposite your right angle, again, the one that points to this, is your hypotenuse. Not hippopotamus, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay. And these are still your legs, just like with isosceles triangles. Okay. Longest side, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Okay. If the hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. So that means if, if PR is congruent to XZ and PQ is congruent to XY, and the angle you know for angle side side is a right angle, okay, that is a right angle, then the two triangles are congruent. Mind your P's and Q's. Don't make me remind you. Okay. So again, this is angle. This is angle, side, side. But this angle has to be a right angle. Okay. See what I did there? To use the hypotenuse leg theorem, that's what we're going to call it from here on out, is the hypotenuse leg. Because if you have the hypotenuse and a leg of a triangle, then they're congruent. Because if you have the hypotenuse, that means it's a right triangle. Because only right triangles have a hypotenuse. Only works if and only if they are too nice. Job on the line, I better highlight. There are two triangles that are right. They have congruent hypotenuses and one pair of congruent legs. Okay. Okay. Proof time. Suppose P, R, S, and R, P, Q are right angles, and S, P is congruent to Q, R. Prove this. So I'm going to my statements, my reason. Okay. So I'm going to start off with this. P, R, S, and R, P, Q are right angles. And SP is congruent to QR. And that was given to us. So I have my right angle. I have my hypotenuse. They gave me the hypotenuse because PS is my hypotenuse. Because it's opposite the right. And this is also hypotenuse. I need one more side. Look at this. We know what PR. That's right. It's congruent to a PR by our good old reflexive property. So that means what do I know about my two triangles? That's right. PRS is congruent to RPQ by the hypotenuse leg theorem. Again, HL stands for hypotenuse leg, guys. Hypotenuse and a leg. Hypotenuse leg. Okay, that was it. Now for B, 
make sure your friend says, suppose you have two triangles with congruent hypotenuses and one pair of congruent legs. It doesn't matter which leg of the first triangle is congruent to which leg of the second triangle. If the triangles be congruent. Is your friend correct? Well, I wouldn't keep friends lighty about math, but because he, but he's correct. Yes. Because it's just, you know, hypotenuse and a leg. You know, I could just draw it like this. You know, you still have a hypotenuse and a leg. Okay, so those two triangles are still congruent. They're just flipped, they're just rotated. Okay. Last one, as in our proof, because we love proofs. Guess what this homework's going to be, guys? Oh, that's right. Statements, reasons, put a line here, put this line here. Bada -boom, bada -boom. So we have a CD. Let's just start by writing the good one. AD is perpendicular bisector of CE. Okay, what do we know? That, oh, that's given. Alright, what do we know? Well, what's it mean to be a perpendicular bisector? Well, it means that what do we know about angle CVD and angle ABE? Well, Oops, I can't do that. I guess I can because perpendicular bisector are going to be right angles. Okay, how do you know those two triangles are right triangles? Well, that's by your goal def of perpendicular bisector. Okay, so now I have my right angle. I have my hypotenuse. So now I need one more leg. Oh man, oh man, oh man. How am I going to do this? Well, perpendicular bisector means it cuts this line in half, right? Two equal parts. So I can say AB is congruent to DB by, well, definition of bisector. Then are we done? Actually, yeah, we are. Because we have a leg and a hypotenuse. So I can say triangle CVD is congruent triangle EBA by the HL hypotenuse leg theorem. And that's it, guys. Be ready for some proofs tomorrow. Enjoy.